protect you from scams and ripoffs where you live. The I Team. Rolling back the facts. News for Jack's I Team investigation of digital odometer fraud. Crooks here in our area shaving miles off of cars, duping unsuspecting buyers. News for Jack's I Team investigator Vic Michalucci shows us how it can be done in less than 60 seconds. It is a number that might have you spinning. 60,000 cars in Florida with odometer rollbacks on the roads right now. According to Carfax, 5,000 are right here in the Jacksonville area. Because it's so easy, this scam is growing not only in Florida, but nationwide. Chris Basso has been with the car history company for years. He demonstrates how quickly a con artist can change the miles on a vehicle. How quickly can they do it? It takes less than a minute. This pickup truck actually has 230,000 miles on it, making its Carfax value around $3,000. But in seconds, Josh is able to make it look like it has 130,000 miles. To drop means the truck's value increases to about $8,200. It, it's, it's an average loss of about $4,000 per case, not only in the value of the car, but in the repairs the service and maintenance that those cars are going to need with a lot more miles than you think they do, and that's an all an out-of-pocket expense to you. The days of mechanical mileage rollbacks are history, but digital odometer fraud is alive and well. It is not hard to find the devices to illegally alter an odometer. This $295 piece of equipment from China is available on eBay. This one, for around the same price, promises mileage adjustment for most major makes and models. To get access to the speedometer odometer unit, you actually don't need to take off the gauge face. You and YouTube videos and show step-by-step -step instructions on how to roll back an odometer in minutes. For somebody that's really, really good with technology, computers, laptops, what have you, it probably isn't a big deal for them either. Mechanic Aaron Nelson has seen just about everything. He has words of warning for anyone looking for a used car deal that's just too good to be true. When you start talking about money like that, these crooks out there, if they got to wait, figure a way to get an extra five or ten grand out of you, they're going to they're going to get it. It's not only dishonest, it is a crime. According to the Florida Attorney General, tampering with an odometer and even owning a vehicle with a compromised odometer is against the law. If you suspect odometer fraud, look for oil change stickers, service records, or warranty cards with the mileage. Ask the seller for the odometer statement to see the mileage when they bought it. If you're buying from a dealer, contact the previous owner. And check the car's door frame. If an odometer is repaired or replaced legally, a notice must be attached. The good news for consumers is there are resources available and we got people working hard right now to, to protect you from buying one of these cars. Basso urges people to ask for a vehicle history report. Carfax will flag vehicles with suspicious circumstances, reporting potential odometer fraud. So if you are buying a used car and you want to know if there are red flags about possible odometer fraud, Carfax will give you that information for free, whether you are on your phone or at home. On Carfax's website, all you have to do is type in the VIN number of the used car that you are looking to buy. The dealership will give it to you, and then you put in your email address. The results, if any, will appear on your screen. And Tom and Mary, state troopers in Northeast Florida, tell me in the past five years, they have gotten 323 complaints of odometer fraud. And that's just here in Northeast Florida. That's not all across the Sunshine State. While you were investigating this, did you come across any local car dealers who encountered odometer fraud from somebody bringing them a trade in? I called around and I spoke with a lot of people. They were aware of it because this is an old trick. It's been going on for decades. Yeah, They're just doing Certainly. it differently. Mm -hmm. So some said they did, others said they didn't. So it is a discrepancy that they keep an eye out for, though. And as I said, it's not something new. And over the past few months, we have discovered cars with possible odometer fraud as we investigated other complaints at some dealerships. So certainly it is a problem here in Northeast Florida.
keep your eye out. Truly. Thank you, Vic. And right now on newsforjacks.com, we have a direct link to the free Carfax odometer fraud check that Vic just mentioned. You'll also find a direct link so you can request background information on a used car, like previous owners and past odometer readings. That's all available by request from the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. Just look inside this story under the iTeam section on newsforjacks.com.